The pass was built in 1862 by Thomas Paine's brother-in-law, Adam de Smit. It is named after the many fossilized ticks found in the rocks when the pass was built. It used to be the wagon track into the hinterland between Lanesburg and Prince Albert. Borsleyskloof Pass has 60 bends and corners along its 7 km length and is classified as one of the most spectacular gravel passes in the Western Cape. My first introduction to Postlethwaite Pass was 26 years ago in March 1995, when I was exploring some of the Karoo's back roads. There is now a very nice lodge built where I met Fox Lederboer, a hermit living in a dilapidated old farmhouse at the bottom of the pass. The new lodge incorporates the old lounge and fireplace, which Zonia and I went to see. The road comes to a dead end at the Hamtapur Dam. When the 14,000 hectare farm that Fox was renting for one goat a year was sold, he had to move away, finding accommodation in the old water affairs buildings at the dam wall. In my planning for the trip, I was able to make contact again with Fox. He invited us to stay in one of the cottages near the wall. The area is extremely rugged. The silence and solitude are fantastic. It is rich with fossils lying on the surface amongst these hills and mountains. The Gamkapoort Dam had been built for flood control purposes. Fox had been appointed the water bailiff and was responsible for keeping the sluice gate mechanism in working order. We decided to go and have a closer look at the wall. Here we are looking into the port itself, which goes through the neighbouring valley commonly known as Dihel in the distance. 
Rock falls from the high cliffs above seem to be a common occurrence. Tomorrow we will drive through the most impressive Sievervieksport.